Hello everybody, it's Virginia here from Imminent Futures. It's pouring rain outside and I'm sitting in my car listening to the thunder. And for a couple of moments it actually sounded like gunshots, although I know it isn't. Um, but it suddenly occurred to me how quickly and without warning something unexpected could happen anywhere in the world and has recently done so. Now, after the 6th of October, the invasion by Hamas on Israel and how the world responded with demonstrations and deaths, it most definitely has shown how quickly the world can change forever. But have we all got it wrong? Is world stability a myth balancing on the brink of disaster? The biggest secret only known to where this current age will end is found in one place alone. All the surrounding peoples are intoxicated with Jerusalem. The burden of the word of the Lord against Israel. Thus says the Lord who stretches out the heavens, lays the foundation of the earth, and forms the spirit of man within him. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of drunkenness to all the surrounding peoples. When they lay siege against it, Judah and Jerusalem. And it shall happen in that day, I will make Jerusalem a very heavy stone for all peoples. All who would heave it away will surely be cut in pieces, though all nations of the earth are gathered against it. But think of the target like this. The outer rim of prophecy is when Israel comes up, pay attention. But if you go in further, it's Jerusalem. When Jerusalem comes up, we're like in the bullseye now of prophecy. But when the Temple Mount is talked about and dealt with in our, on our planet and in scripture, that is the dead center mark. And this comes just at the point, just before Jesus returns, and all the nations of the world will come up against Israel. Jesus said in Matthew 24, 22, that except those days be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, these days will be shortened. Now, whilst we in the West can sit back at ease watching with interest all the latest advancements in modern technology, and then worry whether our primary concern should be if it's going to be artificial intelligence, will that take over the world? or financial collapse, but we have failed to see what the answer really is. And for the immediate future, the greatest threat has always been global jihadism, as it has been in the past, with the incompetent politicians we have, refusing to see the threat of, of mass illegal immigration, but did nothing about it. Is it now too little and too late? We are just all completely barking up the wrong tree. That our own country, as secure as we think it is, is in a moment of time, could be overcome because of the foolishness of our politicians. <laughs> if you've never believed in the message of Christianity before, or thought that it's all just a myth, that Jesus Christ is actually and physically returning, I would urge you and warn you to think about your future before it's too late. But whatever you do, if you have not turned to Jesus as your Lord and Saviour, please do so now, because our only escape from the horror that's coming onto the earth is when Jesus returns at the rapture. He's taking that long, almost 3,000 years, to get the message to as many people as he can because he doesn't want anybody to perish but actually his timing is perfect as we can see with what's happening now so make the right decision now.